field in this hall are ICT professionals, politicians and businessmen and women from all parts of Nigeria. Their main reason is to get a good dose of ICT information and knowledge from the experts and get acquainted with those organizations and individuals that have qualified for this year's Africa Digital Awards. With the team Broadband Oxygen for the Knowledge Economy, the discussants took time to educate the crowd on the importance of broadband and its potential role in Nigerian economy. Once broadband uh, comes to reality, uh, those of the employees that normally go to their office and sit in front of a computer all day, they need not go to their office anymore. They can stay in their house and the broadband do exactly what they were doing in their office and home. This has a remarkable, will, should have a remarkable effect on the migration of people from rural areas to uh, urban areas because there's no need really to move. The industry is contributing more than 80% to our GDP after the replacement of the GDP. And that is coming from less than 1%. So within the space of one year, we brought, we brought the GDP uh, of the industry from 1% to 8% of the total GDP of Nigerian industry. There are two many good things about Nigeria. And I know that Nigerians don't joke with what they like and what, they can, what can bring their money. The moment an average Nigerian knows the good that is in broadband, he or she will demand for broadband. As posited by ICT experts at the Africa Digital Forum and Award 2014, broadband when encouraged with the right policy has the potential of growing the Nigerian economy at the speed never imagined. This, they say, can open doors to use innovation and enterprise, which according to many, is a sure way of giving Nigeria a loud voice in the digital economy. The two-in-one event, Africa Digital Forum and Awards, also had the Oshun Big Fish and the political weight simply referred to as Ogbeni Rauf Arebeshola, governor of the state of Oshun. In his inspiring and educative presentation, Arab Bachelor enumerated the benefits of broadband and its usage. He also used the opportunity to give his state testimony. The theme of this year's digital forum and award is as interesting as it is their main to our economic development effort as a country. And the theme is broadband, oxygen for a digital economy. It's a topic that should command our attention and in the present global dispensation, especially more so in Nigeria, where to all intents and purpose, we appear inadequately prepared for the new world of information and communication technology that is already upon us. And then followed closely was the award, which paraded the best of the best in the ICT industry in 2014, from mobile phone manufacturers and retailers to computer OEMs, original equipment, manufacturers, and enterprise managers. According to the coordinator, Tayo Adewusi, the idea of the platform is born out of a passion to contribute to the development of the industry. The whole idea of the digital forum, the Africa Digital Forum and um, the Africa Digital Awards is born out of the fact that um, within the telecom industry and a la within the larger uh, part which is the ICT, we know that there are a lot of challenges that we really have uh, in the industry and how do we contribute our quota to it? You know, I mean, there's hardly any, if you ask 60% of Nigerians who are using mobile phones, they will tell you they are not happy using the phone. Different, different issues with your phone. You cannot browse successfully, you cannot make calls successfully and you know so many reasons and we cover the beat you understand but so we now feel that okay after we cover all through the year let us have a forum a forum that um, we can discuss these issues and we realize that um, broadband really is about one of the great tools that can really leapfrog 
the industry. If you pull resources together, broadband is broadband. You splice at uh, Bogon Junction. You splice at uh, uh, Adekiti and, uh, and, and Agure. Broadband is broadband. All the issues of right of way, cladding, trunking, embedding, all that will be done collectively. And you pull resources and you save costs. Don't wait for the almighty federal government. With the robust discussion by the experts and awardees, it is clear all hands are needed to actualize the broadband Nigeria. So as to engender a digital Nigeria we all can be proud of. Yabo Ajayi for AIT Infotech Network.